working with ADO.NET. With the release of .NET Framework, Microsoft introduced a new data access model called ADO.NET. The five major objects in ADO.NET are connection, command, data reader, data set, data adapter. Connection. The connection object is responsible for establishing and maintaining the connection to the data source. Command. The command object stores the query that is to be sent to the data source and any applicable parameters. Data reader. The data reader object provides fast forward only and read only object. It is connection oriented. Dataset. The dataset object is the collection of objects. It contains data table, data row, data relation, etc. It provides a storage mechanism for disconnected data. It is like an in-memory repository to store data that has been retrieved. Data adapter. The data adapter object works as a bridge between data set and data source. The data adapter is responsible for retrieving the data from the command object and populating the data set with the data returned. It uses the fill method to populate the data set. If you are working with Microsoft SQL Server, then you must include the following namespace. System.data, System.data.sqlclient. Connection objects. The main use of connection object is to provide connection to a data source. A connection object does not fetch or update data. It does not execute queries and it does not contain the results of queries. It is a place where you can provide the connection string. Important properties of connection object. Connection string, database, data source and state. Connection string. It gets or sets the string used to open the connection. Database. Gets the name of the current database after a connection is opened. Data source gets the name of the database server to which it is connected. State gets the state of the connection. Command object. Command object is used to execute SQL statements and stored procedure against a database. Command object contains the necessary information to execute SQL statements, stored procedures, functions and so on. Important properties of command object. Command text, command type, connection, parameters, and transaction command set set command object to any valid sql statement or name of any valid stored procedure the command type value determines the manner of execution command type set to either sql statement or stored procedure connection set this to connection object parameter collection when running parameterized queries or stored procedure you must add parameter objects to this collection Transaction. The SQL transaction within which the SQL command executes. Important methods of command object. Execute non-query, execute reader, execute scalar, execute XML reader. Execute non-query. This method is used if you are using insert, update or delete SQL statement. Its return type is integer. This indicates the number of affected rows. Execute reader. This method is used if you are using select SQL statement. Its return type is data reader. Execute scalar. If you need to return a single value from a database query, you can use the execute scalar method. This method always returns the value of the first column from the first row of the result set. Its return type is object. Execute XML reader. Returns XML formatted data returns a system.xml.xml reader object. Data reader object. The data reader object provides a connection oriented data access to the data source. Data reader object is fast, forward only, read only, retrieval of query results from the data source. It is not used to update the data. When you start to read from a data reader, it should always be open and positioned prior to the first row. The read method in the data reader is used to read the rows from data reader and it always move forward to a new valid row if any row exists. Important properties of data reader object. Connection, field count, has rows, is closed, records affected. Important methods of data reader object. Close, next result, read and get value. The data reader cannot be created directly from code. They can create it only by calling execute reader method of a command object. Working with dataset object. 
data set is a disconnected in memory representation of data it can contain multiple data table from different database 